Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. We're here to talk about how to solve identity equations in trigonometry. Now, there's a lot of identity equations out there. Now, when it, when it comes to solving the identity equations, it really depends on what identity that you want to solve for. In other words, uh, what term you want to solve for specifically. So here's a basic example as to what I'm talking about. You're all aware of the Pythagorean identity sine squared theta plus cosine squared theta is equal to 1. Now, what you want to think about is, depending on what the directions are, what you want to solve for. Do you want to solve for sine or do you want to solve for cosine? Now, suppose you want to solve for sine, for example. What you want to think about is, it's just like using algebra. If you want to solve for sine, you want to get the sine on its own. So, you want to subtract cosine squared on both sides. So you have sine squared theta is equal to 1 minus cosine squared theta. And then to solve for sine completely, because sine is squared, you want to take the square root of both sides. So we have sine of theta is equal to, now because the two terms are subtracted by each other, you really can't do too much with it algebraically. But you do know, since you're taking the square root of both sides, it's plus or minus. So sine theta is equal to plus or minus square root of 1 minus cosine squared theta. Now, similarly speaking, if your job was to solve for cosine theta, you do the exact same thing. Subtract both sides by sine squared and then take the square root of both sides. So at the bottom line here is when it comes to solving identity equations in trigonometry, you want to be sure what it is that you're solving for, which term that you want to isolate, and then just use the algebra and go from there. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and this is a brief overview as to how to solve identity equations in trigonometry.